everyone's been dealt a challenge. I don't care who you are or what you do, you've been presented a challenge. And you could quit, or you could hit that challenge head on. Now, something like this happened to me when I was 23 years old. I had my first job out of college where I was doing door-to-door sales. And I was going to Lowell, Massachusetts to sell Subway coupons to the people. Now, I was in a bad mood because I was going to a part of Lowell where it's multifamily houses. English was not the predominantly spoken language. Um, and I was so far away from the subway that it made no sense. I was talking about this particular subway to this group of people. This made no sense. So I was annoyed. And the day before, I was in a turf right next door and I sold two certificates. It was a 100% commission job, which meant for that eight hours of walking around talking to people, I made 20 bucks. So I was just annoyed. Now, on this day, all those same challenges presented itself, but also it was raining. Not like misty rain. This rain should have been illegal. It was wet. It was thick. It was cold. Should have been snow. It's a terrible day. Terrible day. And I go out, get out of the car, and I start knocking on doors. And with the multifamily houses, it's always challenging because to talk to anybody, you have to get into the front door. And once you're in the front door, you can go to the different levels of the house and try to talk to each family individual. So you got to get into the door. I was having zero luck that day getting into any door. So I do one lap around my turf, talk to very few people, still nothing. Break for lunch, just annoyed. And I go back out, do another lap on my turf. Again, talk to a handful of people, still nothing. And then I remember thinking, I was like, you know what? I'm done, I have every excuse in the world. My red sheet that keeps track of all the people I talk to is wet. I've sold nothing, I'm gonna sell nothing. I'm not gonna do this. So I was like, no, let me just, go to that one more house in the corner. It's right across the street from Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm knocking that house and I'll just go in dunks and just hang out for the rest of the day and just go home. And as I get to that house, my buddy Josh is on the other corner um, and he was walking up some steps. He's like, Watkins, how you doing? I'm like, good. He goes, I'm killing it. They love, they love your boy out here. I'm like, okay. And he's like, I sold seven, about to sell three more right now to everybody in this house. And I was thinking, I was like, how's this guy so happy? I'm so miserable. I was like, I can't, I can't quit and let Josh win. Nah, that's not how this is gonna end. And so then like, you got buzzed into the house and he was gone. I was like, all right, I'm doing this. So miraculously, I was able to get into a house, knocked on the door and the lady was bilingual and she like loved talking to me. And I was, she was like my therapist. I was just complaining about how bad of a day I had. And I said, would you be able to write my pitch on paper for me so I could show it to some of your neighbors in the community. She's like, sure. So I told her what I needed it to say and she wrote it down. Man, she's like, just say free subway. People understand free subway. It's like, okay, got it, free subway. Like, don't say hi, just free subway, got it. So I proceeded to just go around the different doors, the different houses. Got buzzed in by just saying free subway. When I got there, I said free subway. Hand them a piece of paper. Then when they're done reading it, I handed them my subway certificate. All right, when they're done looking at it, I, hand, I pointed to the part on the uh, translated paper that said, give me cash or check. And people would just go get their cash or check. And it worked. So that day I sold 15. Never sold 15 in my life until that day. Speaking not an ounce of Spanish. I mean, you figure I was a C minus French student in high school at best. So language isn't really even my thing anyway. And I was able to pull 15 sales out of a neighborhood where the day before I did two, and that day I thought I was gonna do zero. Got in the car, hit it back to the office. I get back to the office, everyone's down and out. Josh is happy, I'm ecstatic. And like this, this challenge that I was presented with could have been the end of Leroy. Could have been my sob story. I had all the excuses in the world, but it turned out to be a really, really good story. One that I could share with you. And so my question to you is, do you have any cool stories? If you do, put them in the comments below. I'm always curious but just don't give up. If you never ever deal with the challenge you're confronted with, you never have the opportunity to have that really cool story.